Tarek Lamptey has earned himself an 86 rated upgrade in this year's Winter World Cards promo and this upgrade is looking so good. But before we kick things off, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more FC24 videos and player reviews just like this one. Now Lamptey is going to replace Evolution's Kieran Trippier at right back and I'm not too sad to see him go because he wasn't doing anything immense for me and I have been on the lookout for a solid and fast right back this year, especially with Carl Walker's rating dropping so much. So before we get into this review, let's have a quick look over his card and his stats. So he is a right footed right back standing at just 5 foot 4, a really really short defender. He's got high attacking and medium defensive work rates which I think is fine for a fullback. He also has 3 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot along with explosive acceleration. What's great about this Lamptey card is his preferred position is right back but he can also play as a right wing back, a left back and a left wing back so there's so much option for playing him in your team. Moving on to his stats then and as he has got full chem on a basic chemistry style he will get a massive boost on a lot of his stats. His pace is looking so dangerous up at 93 overall with 98 on acceleration and 93 on sprint speed. His shooting is really poor but because he's a right back I'm not too worried about that stat. His passing is pretty average with nothing too outrageous here. I think the key stat to note here is that his crossing is at 91 and his short pass is up at 90. His dribbling though is looking very good at 86 overall. We have got 98 on agility, 99 on balance and 90 on dribbling. His defending is also not looking too bad at all with interceptions on 84, defensive awareness at 87, standing tackle at 91 and slide tackles at 93. His overall for physical though is looking really weak with strength being the one stat that's really holding him back here. He is however maxed out on aggression at 99 and he has decent enough jumping and stamina rating as well. Moving on to his playstyles then and Lamptey has got 6 of them. His first is the Tiki Taka playstyle under passing which means he'll be able to complete difficult first time passes with accuracy and he's got access to passing with his heel as well. Next up is the block playstyle under defending and this just means he'll be able to make more successful blocks because he has an improved reach. Next up is the slide tackle and this gives him the ability to keep the ball under control when he does perform a slide tackle. On to ball control and we've got the rapid play style which means he'll get to a higher sprint speed when he's dribbling and he'll make less mistakes when sprinting and performing knock-ons. In physical we've got the quick step and that just means he'll accelerate faster during explosive sprints. And his final play style is the long throw plus which means his throw-ins are going to be more powerful and travel further than other players. So now we've had a look over his card, his stats and his playstyles, let's get down to business and take him into the game and see how good he is. So with Lamptey being a fullback, I'm going to start this review off by looking at his defending. So Lamptey is a fairly solid defender who can make some really good standing and sliding tackles. Because he's so quick, he can keep up with a lot of the quicker wingers in the game and he can take the ball away from them pretty well. His defensive positioning is very good too, putting him in the right place to stop attacks taking shape. The only thing that really lets his defending down is the fact that he's so weak. When he's running towards and besides opposition players, it's a little bit too easy for him to bounce right off them and lose his momentum. When he's on the ball though, he is unbelievable. He is an incredible runner, he is so fast and agile, he makes light work of breezing down the right hand side from his own box to the other end of the pitch. He has got no problems keeping the ball under control while he is sprinting and it makes it so easy for you to get on the attack from his running alone. Once he's down the wing, it's very, very easy to cut into the box and twist around defenders before finding a free forward in a position to score. On top of that, his crossing is insanely powerful and accurate, which makes it so easy for you to find your tall forwards in the box, like my winter wildcards Casemiro is always getting his head on the ball. At the same time, he's also quick enough to get back to defend when he's needed to, so he doesn't always stay out of position for too long. The only thing that lets him down again here is his strength. Because he is so weak, if he can't quite get past the defender, he will too easily bounce off him and the attack will be gone. It's easy enough though to manoeuvre him away from pressure though, so as long as you send him the right way, he'll keep going. Now his passing is much, much better than his stats suggest. With that tiki taka playstyle, Lamptey can play quick 1-2s with his teammates all the way up the pitch while drawing defenders to him in the process. It is really powerful linking him up with players like Odegaard in midfield to maximise the impact of quick one-touch passing. 
His long passing isn't half bad either. He can pick out his teammates on the opposite side of the pitch and play some really nice through balls to get your wingers and strikers through on goal. So how would I rate Lamptey's Winter Wildcards card? I have to give him a solid 8 out of 10. I was really impressed with him and he'll definitely be staying in my team. He's good enough in defence to keep him as a starting right back with very good tackling and overall defensive positioning. He is an absolute beast on the ball with more than enough pace to take you right into an attack in no time. He's a very good passer of the ball and is very easy to take advantage of that tiki tacker playstyle he has. The only thing not allowing me to improve that rate into a 9 is the fact that he is so weak and that he bounces off opposition players a little bit too easily for me. You can counter that slightly with a defensive chemistry style, but I don't think that's going to make him strong enough to make a real difference. But overall, I love the way that Lamptey feels and performs in the game and I am going to be keeping him as my starting right back for the next few months and I would 100% recommend you add him to your squad too. So let me know what you think of this review and how Winter Wildcards Lamptey is playing for you in your ultimate team. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more FC24 content and player reviews. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.